गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स गेट मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग देर आर थ्री स्ट्रीम्स वन इज थर्मल सेकंड इज डिजाइन एंड थर्ड इज प्रोडक्शन इन थर्मल इंजीनियरिंग द फंडामेंटल सब्जेक्ट बीइंग थर्मोडायनमिक्स एंड देन द कंसर्न सब्जेक्ट्स आर हीट ट्रांसफर आइस इंजन्स पावर प्लांट इंजीनियरिंग refrigeration and air conditioning and on the design side we are having engineering mechanics strength of materials theory of machines machine design vibrations and on the production side welding thar cutting metal cutting statistical quality control and production technology and industrial engineering today we will be starting with the thermal engineering subjects let us start with the subject thermodynamics this word thermodynamics can be split up into two parts thermo and dynamics by the term thermo we mean everything relating to heat and dynamics is the study of particles in motion that means we are going to study a subject dealing with science where the working fluid particles all the times shall be in motion and we are interested to study their heat behavior what is heat heat is a form of energy studying the energy behavior shall mean one form of energy to be converted to the other form of energy that is the work thus thermodynamics is the science dealing with the study of heat and work during the course of the study we'll come across a number of machines like compressors engines refrigerators turbines boilers condensers evaporators it becomes very very difficult to talk about each machine separately so we should have a generalized study so that we'll see under different categories what type of machines shall come and the equation shall be common for those similar type of the machines that means thermodynamics let us have a generalized approach for the generalized approach we'll see what is available to us and what we are interested to study what is available to us is the universe the so called brahmanda out of this universe let us select the topics of our interest let us say this is any region in space which is occupying some volume possessing some mass of the working substance this will be calling as a topic of our interest and shall be called as a system are we interested for electrical system or magnetic system no we are interested only for the thermodynamic system that mean dealing with heat and work and hence more precisely we will be naming it as the thermodynamic system now these are the surfaces with which this system can be distinguished from the rest of the universe and hence these boundaries shall be called as the system boundaries now again if somebody asks where what are the system boundaries i will require to draw the lines once again we doesn't look nice and hence to represent these surfaces we represent dotted lines either inside the surfaces or outside the surfaces 
depending upon our convenience. Later on we will see our convenience shall depend upon what factors. These surfaces we have named as the system boundaries. How about the things external to it? External to it shall be called as surroundings. That means any region in space upon which our attentions are focused to study that shall be referred as a thermodynamic system. And the surfaces with which this system can be distinguished called as system boundaries. And everything external to the system shall be termed as the surroundings for the system. Such that the thermodynamic system plus surroundings shall be called as the universe. Now let us try to classify the thermodynamic systems under different categories. classification of thermodynamic systems. In general we are having three types of system namely a closed system Secondly, open system and third, isolated system. Now let us discuss each system in details, starting with the closed system. Let us consider a cylinder and piston arrangement. At any time, let this be the position of the piston. Along with it, a connecting rod and the crankshaft. This crankshaft shall have the rotary movement. In turn, piston shall have the reciprocating movement. Let us have some working substance placed in this volume between the cylinder and piston. We are interested to talk about the behavior of this gas. So this gas sh shall be termed as our thermodynamic system. These are the surfaces with which this gas can be distinguished. We are not interested to talk about the behavior of the cylinder walls or the piston. We are interested for the gas and hence the system boundaries shall be represented inside the system. So these surfaces shall be called as system boundaries. And everything external to the system shall mean the surroundings for the system. Once we have marked these three terms, that means we are clear with our problem. Now we are interested to talk about thermodynamics, that means heat and work. From the surroundings, by some means, let us supply heat. Now, 
if we can record what is happening, that means we have studied the system. So our first observation would be heat crosses the system boundaries. These are what the boundaries heat has crossed. Then what happens? A part of this heat gets converted to work and that work will push the piston towards the right hand side and say after a very small interval of time this is the position of the piston. That means our second observation is work also crosses the system boundaries. How about the boundaries? The boundaries which we selected earlier, they were just arbitrarily chosen. Now depending upon this process, the boundaries do not remain same and get shifted to these boundaries. So I'll say system boundaries do not remain fixed. Next, how about the mass of the gas comprising the system? No part of this mass has gone out, no mass has come in. That means the mass of the gas remains fixed. 